Right, it's back to the EGR cooler, heaters, water heater thing. So, just now we've got it attached to the exhaust output of the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 12 kilowatt heater here. Depending on which eBay auction or whoever you bought it from, depends on what number they stick in the side of it. So, exhaust, out through that, out, out through our transit-based box, Peugeot Boxer, EGR cooler. Water circulate through there via the pump in here, thermocouple poked into water, I'll start it, get it up and running and then we'll do the time it takes for it to go from temperature A to temperature B and that'll tell us the kilowatts of the, or the recovered kilowatt of the exhaust. Let's go. Okay, we're running away now, so I'm gonna, just for those that are interested, top off the fuel just as we start to start measuring, so I'm going to turn the pump on. So the pump's now circulating. That's us back to one litre of fuel in the thing, so we'll start counting, well, somewhere about now, and see where we are in 10, 20 degrees. We went from 17 degrees to 30 degrees in 4 minutes and 34 seconds. So let's fire up that online calculator again and see what that gets us in kilowatts. We'll now go to the computer and do calculations. Okay, 4 minutes and 34 seconds as a decimal, uh, 0.0761 hours. Like that. Uh, volume was still 2 liters. Started 17, finished at 30, took that much time, and there we go, 0 0.47, 0 0.4767 kilowatts, okay, so just slightly under 500 watts, that's not too bad. Could this setup be improved? Of course it could, this is on a bench. You could insulate all the exhausts, insulate the EGR itself, insulate all the pipes, Depending on what you're doing with it. Easily, easily make it much more efficient. So if anyone was interested, this started at litre. And we've got 100 millilitres in the syringe. I'll now top it back up to a litre. Okay, that used 30 millilitres of diesel to top it back up to one litre. Just in case you're interested. That doesn't really help you with how much fuel the EGR consumed because that was still putting out a lot of heat because it swells, raised the temperature in here up a good uh, four degrees, which is not bad. If you've got any other EGR heater related things or heater related things that you want to see, leave me a comment and we'll see if we can do that. But at the moment, we're just waiting for the new one with the built in water heater to arrive from China at this point in time. Thanks for watching, guys.